two weeks after our wedding day, we sat in the office of bone marrow transplant specialists, learning the horrors of life post-transplant, if my husband would even survive. We had just got married. We were supposed to be starting our life off fresh and new, not talking about death. We were supposed to be deciding who gets which side of the closet and where the furniture goes. Instead, I was learning that my touch could be dangerous, even deadly, once he went through the treatment. The chemo and the radiation would kill almost every blood cell before they administered the bone marrow, praying his body did not reject it, and his bed would be surrounded by a plastic bubble. We couldn't touch, we couldn't even kiss. I did say we were newlyweds, didn't I? Because that was important then. That day, my world was turned upside down. Have you had a day where your world's been turned upside down? Fear controlled me then. But since then, through that trial, through my own depression and even blindness, God has proved himself faithful, and I have learned to trust him even more. In Matthew chapter 14, Jesus walked across a stormy sea of Galilee towards the disciples out on a boat. Peter saw him and wanted to walk on the water with Jesus. What faith? That's the faith we all should have, but we're afraid of sinking. But if we look into this passage, we learn that moments of sinking become moments for strengthening. I'm Carolyn Dale Newell, and I would love to come and share with your ladies about conquering emotional bondage with a faith that walks on water, helping them to recognize the lies of the enemy and replace them with the truth of God. Thank you for your time. God bless.